she's she's just a little cold. No big deal. Keep. Let's do this. Oh. There goes the intro. Cut. I'm done with this unadulterated junk. Wow. I got. I got one. I know what we're gonna do. It's gonna be easy. It'll be great. Today on Bob the Builder, we will learn how to use a saw. Absolutely. Now what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is the finest example of a chainsaw that 1972 had to offer. Now this is a steel 028 AV. This was my grandfather's chainsaw. And it's, a, it's an animal. I actually took it to steel to see if they could restore it. Um, they said they could. It cost about a gazillion dollars, but all the parts are available. That's pretty neat. But let's switch over to something that actually works. This is a steel 175. Now, this is their bottom of the line gas powered chainsaw. It's nothing special, but I'm gonna tell you, that's a cut and do. Now, what I'd like to do here is, let's go through a little bit of how to use a chainsaw. Now, I'm not exactly an expert, but I do know how to use one, at least well enough that I've got all of my digits. Okay, now for all the really exciting stuff. Let's go over what all the bits and bobs on a chainsaw are called. It's not that complicated. Stuff will break, and you need to know what it's called. So, first, you've got a bar cover. Just a little plastic sleeve, goes over the bar, protects the chain, nice and simple. Remove said bar cover and you've got the bar. The bar is actually this piece right here. It's just, I don't know why they call it a bar, that's just what they call it and I just, I'm gonna go with it. Then you've got the chain. The chain is what actually does the cutting. The chain will actually roll around on the bar and create the cutting action. I'm sure you've probably figured out that much to this point. Now, you'll notice that my chain is a little bit loose. Now, that can be fixed using this handy dandy little tool. This is a chainsaw tool. It has a little flathead screwdriver on one end and it has the proper size wrenches that you're gonna need to tighten up the bar. And tighten up the chain. Yeah, there's that. As we move further down the chainsaw, what we've got is we've got the actual chain lock. Now, as you move this down, it will actually lock the chain. And that will, that will be pretty handy and you'll see when we get to startup why that's pretty important. Now you now also have your handle, nice and easy. This is what your forehand, what your front hand will actually hold on to, and it will control the, the end of the chainsaw. Positive control of the chainsaw is very important. Next, the rear handle. Now, this one actually has a little safety switch. You hold that down, and it keeps the thing from dying on you. If for some reason you drop it, all of a sudden the chainsaw dies. This is a good thing. Ask me how I know. Then you have your trigger control. This actually controls the speed of the engine and speeds up and the speed of the chain. Very important. You also have your choke control right here. Now, if you spin this big boy around, you got this. This is your pull start. This is what you pull to start the engine. I know this sounds very elementary, but there may be some people out there that don't know this stuff. Those are the bits and pieces of a chainsaw. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get this chain tightened up. It's nice and easy. There's a little screw, little flathead screw right here on this side of the chain. This is how it works on a steel. It's pretty similar on all the chainsaws that you're gonna have. 
um, nice and easy. Now, you can't just go in there and start, start uh, screwing on this all willy-nilly. No. First thing you need to do is these little, these little, uh, these little nuts right here. You need to crack them loose. Don't un don't loosen them all the way, but just give them, a, just break them loose. So pop, pop. Okay. Now come in here and just give it a little turn, and you'll notice. The chain is already tightening. Now, how tight do you want it? You want it about that tight. You'll notice that there's still a little bit of play in it. It rolls, rolls freely, but there's no droop in the bottom. You don't want this bar or this, com this chain coming off the bar. That's a bad thing real bad thing. So now that you've gotten it tightened to the point that you want, come back over here and give these a good snug. And chain's good to go. At this point, I've got the chain tightened I've got my blade lock off, so it rolls. I want to put bar oil in this thing. What's bar oil? Bar oil is what the chainsaw uses to lubricate the chain and the bar. Keeps everything sliding nice and loose, right? And if you run out of it and the chain goes dry, it will throw the chain. Dangerous situation. Could be an expensive situation because you can damage the bar and the chain. Here's how you do it. You've got this nice little container right here. On the steel chainsaws, you've actually got a little sight glass. All you do, take this chainsaw tool. Are you seeing the theme here? Chainsaw tool is important. Stick it in there. Twist or loose. Now it's open. Reach over and grab your handy dandy bar oil. This is a real thick type oil and you just wanna make sure your container is full. Nice and easy. Now you have bar oil. That's a good thing. Next, fuel. Same type cap. Remove it the same way, but you don't use normal fuel. This particular chainsaw, I use a 50 to 1 mix. I went and purchased its own one gallon gas tank. This was $12. It's worth it, spend the money. I then purchased this. Now, little, little pro tip here, make sure that you get the one with the, the little measure in top on it because I I never do math in public. This keeps you from having to do that. That is one gallon. You've got all these nice little marks on there that will tell you exactly how much to put in there to get the proper mix for your machine. Some are 50 to one, some are 25 to one, some are 100 to one. It depends. Check your machine. It's important. There is no oil in this. This is your engine lubricant. If you don't do it, the chainsaw will seize, and then you get to go buy a new one and do all this all over again. It's a hard lesson to learn. So, chainsaw tool, break it loose, pull it out. Now at this point, you have a chainsaw that's ready to run. Now, if you're messing with an older chainsaw, one that's been used before, you're gonna want to actually sharpen the blade. Yes, you do need to sharpen the blade. 
it's not really quite like sharpening your knife. You're not running it, you're not having to do all sorts of grinding and get the angles right and all that. No, it's nice and simple. You spend $8 and purchase a sharpening kit. Now this one comes with a handy little angle guide. You place it on there. You grab your proper sized file. Nice and easy. See that right there? Insert it into the handle. Nice and easy. Now, do you need this? Hmm, it helps. But really, all you're trying to do is take the burrs off of the cutting teeth. You're not trying to put a mirror finish on these things. So what I do, I take a marker, right here. I find my starting point, and I color the tooth. Now, as I roll this through and sharpen, I know where I started and where to stop. Now there's two different teeth on here. There's these teeth that have an angle. That's what this is for. All you're doing is knocking the burrs off. Nice and easy. choked out there's no air it's all fuel then you grab stand right here on the handle I know I look real good here make sure your chain is also locked and you pull you're gonna pull on the on the cord until you hear it start to stumble like it wants to start then stop observe Now stop. Steels are real bad about flooding because they, they, they dump a lot of fuel. They make a lot of power. You move your choke up, one click, now repeat. To kill it, just rotate it up to a stop position. And that's it. That's how you use a chainsaw. Nice and simple. Nothing to be afraid of. I know this is a little different than my normal vlog type video. But the weather happened. We got more rain. So I couldn't really go outside and actually go do anything interesting. So I decided to do this one. Hopefully this helps some, some of you along and gives you an idea how to use a chainsaw. Always read your manufacturer's instructions. I accept no responsibility if you decide to do something silly with it. So, if you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit the thumbs up, whole nine yards, follow me on Instagram, walkingr1983. Y'all take it easy now.